Christina and welcome back to my channel. So you guys, for my favorites for today, I will be discussing my leave-ins and I will also be discussing my stylers because I only have two leave-ins so I just decided to put the both of them together. So if you're interested in what they are, then keep watching because I'm going to get started with that right now. Okay you guys, so when it comes to leave-ins, I don't have a lot. I have two favorites that I always go for no matter what every wash day i'm alternating between these two so i'm going to grab one or i'm going to grab the other and my number one all-time favorite leave-in is my mish lavish leave-in i love this stuff right here this right here is a very moisturizing leave-in which of course as i stated in all of my other previous favorites videos moisture is what matters to me the most I, my hair can get dry really fast so i have to make sure i am using some very moisturizing products and this mesh leave-in conditioner you guys it is super duper moisturizing um and a little bit goes a long way when i first started using it i would always put too much and i would kind of have to wipe some of the excess product out of my hair so i've learned to just use a little bit that way i don't have all that excess leave-in um of course y'all already know i mean to me all of the whole mesh line smells good it just it smells like candy i love the way it smells and i'm almost done with this it's down here if you guys can see that i'm like down here with this and i already have my backup i've already brought me another one so i have a backup for when this runs out but um yes i love using this right here very moisturizing leave-in um especially it's something that i need when coming to put in you know like heavy gels and stuff on my hair because some gels can dry your hair out so you want to make sure you have a moisturizing base up underneath your gel so yes this is my all-time favorite leave-in my next favorite leave-in is actually a moisture milk but it's the camille rose natural curl love moisture milk I love this stuff right here as a matter of fact this used to be my number one favorite until I got my hands on Mish and then once I got my hands on Mish that became my favorite but this right here is my second favorite um this smells good too this smells like smells like cupcakes or vanilla cake or something it just it smells really good it smells like food <laughs> and i like to eat so same thing with this a little bit goes a long ways this both of these leave-ins are thick and i love thick leave-ins because i don't know it's just what my hair texture is like thin products doesn't seem to do anything for me i know that's not necessarily true all of the time but most of the time i'm gravi grav most of the time i am gravitate why can't i say that word Grabbers had grabbers. Most of the time, I am going to grab thick products over thin products because thicker products just work better on my type 4 hair. So, yes, this is my second favorite leave in. Love this. Very moisturizing, as I stated. And so, yeah, one of the two. Uh, most of the time, I'm grabbing my Mish leave in the most. Um, but when I started running out before I brought my backup, then I started using this one too. So basically it depends on what style I'm doing and what products I'm using that I determine which one of these I'm going to put in my hair. So that is it for my leave-in. So now I'm going to move on to stylers and I don't have very many of those either. So my all-time number one favorite styler is, yes, you already know. Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This has been my number one styler since I started my natural hair journey. This was the very first product that I picked up when it came to stylers and I fell in love with it and I've been using it since. I've been natural for this year. September is going to make two years. I've been natural, you guys, and I'm still using this. It is still my number one favorite styler i love it so far pretty much everything that i have paired this with it mixes well um i think there may have been one or two times when this did not mix with one of my gels but nine out of ten times if i want to get a very good wash and go that i know i'm not going to get flakes or anything then i'm going for this that way i know my wash and go is going to come out perfect and i, I won't have any problems so yes i love this it is thick 
Um, so you definitely don't need a lot of this because if you use too much of this, then it, it is going to flake. I've done that before too. So all you need is a little bit and you just put it on your hands, just a little dot, put it on your hands, rub your hands together and your hands will be white. So yeah, and then you just rub, rub it in your hair and work it in really good. But yeah, don't use a lot of this stuff or you will regret it. And I have learned that as well. So yes, all the time, number one favorite styler and nothing has replaced it yet. And I like to use that when it comes to my wash and goes. I don't think I've ever used that for a t flat twist out just wash and goes so another favorite styler of mine when it comes to wash and goes is the diva curl super stretch coconut curl elongator now i know a lot of people have been talking about canceling diva curl because it's been making their hair come out and stuff like that well i've had this for a while as a matter of fact it's almost empty it smells good i love the way it smells but it's almost empty, and yes, I do have some hair in there. I, I don't have time to sit up here and pick hair out of my hair products just for a video, so. <laughs> but as you can see, it's almost gone. I've had no problems with Diva Curl. This is the only Diva Curl product that I have used, however, so I don't know about all that other stuff. All I know is for me, I've been using this for my wash and goes, and I have not had any problems with it at all. It is a favorite of mine when it comes to wash and go because it gives me for a cream it has a great hold on it which is what i like when it comes to my wash and go so um i love this it is moisturizing it is a thick product so you don't need a lot of it um, or else your hair will be well for me if i use too much my hair is going to be very crunchy because i go over this with a gel so i put this as my styler and then i go on top of it with a gel so i have to make sure i don't put too much or else my hair is going to be too hard and too crunchy with a cast so i love this right here i am going to continue to use it as a matter of fact i have to buy me another one because it is almost gone and i forgot to show you guys for my uh, uh coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie i am down here with this one right there so yeah got to buy me another one of this as well all right so i'm almost done so my favorite stylers when it comes to those are my two favorite stylers when it comes to washing goes so my next two favorite stylers when it comes to flat twist outs or when i do a flat braid out my number one go-to that i'm picking up before anything is going to be my mesh quench hydrating and twisting butter i love this right here this is a very i got to smell every product yeah i already know <laughs> <laughs> but this is a very moisturizing um twisting butter as you can see it's super thick so once again you don't need a lot especially if your hair is thinner than mine because my hair is kind of thick so if your hair is thinner you definitely want to use a little bit but i like to use this because not only does it keep my hair moisturized it also gives some great definition so I love the fact that I get moisture and I get definition at the same time. So I love this right here. Nine out of 10 times when I am doing a flat twist out, this is what I am using right here. That's it. This is it. I love it. <laughs> and for my next styler that I like to grab when it comes to my flat twist out, so when I'm doing a flat braid out, is my Camille Rose Naturals Almond Jai Twisting Butter that's the texture of it the consistency it is thick as well um but just like the styling milk it has that same scent to it and i like to use this when it comes to my flat twist outs and my flat braid outs because it keeps my hair it gives you nice soft curls but you also get some good definition with it as well so when it comes to my styling products as far as with my you know flat twist outs and my flat braid outs i am looking for definition moisture and i don't want those i don't want that style to be hard so i don't use gels for those i like to use twisting butters um or some type of light styling cream when it comes to my twist outs and my my flat twist outs and my flat braid outs because i can't y'all got you guys know i cannot do a regular two strand twist out 
and I can barely do a regular braid out so I prefer flat braid outs and flat twist out so when it comes to that style I don't want it hard I want the nice soft fluffy curls but when it comes to my wash and goes you guys know I don't like soft curls with my wash and goes I prefer a wash and go with a gel cast and my curls to be hard so that style can last me but that's it for my favorites when it comes to my leave-ins and my stylers like i said most of my stuff is going to be focused on moisture because that's what i need especially with my stylers because i don't really re-moisturize my hair i might do it like because i try to make my styles last for a whole week so when it comes to my wash and goes i definitely do not re-moisturize those um i just band them every night so for once i do that style i have to make sure it's moisturized because i'm not adding any more moisture in but when it comes to my um twist flat twist outs and flat braid outs i do moisture re-moisturize those like day three or day four i will re-moisturize it but so leave-ins is very important to me having a moisturized leave-in is very very important because of the fact sometimes i don't re-moisturize my hair so i have to make sure i have enough moisture in my hair to last me for the whole week until i get ready to style and these two leave-ins right here they do exactly that if i don't want to re-moisturize my hair i don't have to not when i'm using these because these are very moisturizing so once again, when it comes to leave-ins, my number one favorite is the Mish Lavish Leave-In. This is, this is it. When it comes to my number one stylers for my wash and goes, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, that's all I need. And when it comes to my favorite stylers for my flat twist outs and flat braid outs, Mish Twisting Butter, that's it those are it so those are like the main products that i am grabbing when it comes to leave-ins and styles so you guys that is all that i have for this video i hope it was helpful if it was make sure you give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it well guess what don't leave without giving me a thumbs up anyways just thumbs it up for watching even if you didn't find it helpful if you're not subscribed to my channel Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you can become a part of my curry crew. But that is all I have, you guys. So until my next video, and my next one will be discussing my favorite gels. And I'm pretty sure if you're OG, you already know what they are. But we're going to discuss that in the next video. So until then, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll see you in my next upload. Bye.